Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. No Blood Moon on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. A couple of quick things. Uh, first of all, there are two things. Cat brought them up in the comments. I can just upgrade these to metal, apparently. We could try that out. Second of all, uh, the disappearing items. The occlusion at the beginning of the settings in the options. That's where you go to turn off the occlusion. My stuff isn't disappearing anymore. And I think what it was is it's supposed to be like a performance helper, right? Everything that's behind me is supposed to basically disappear and not be there. Um, but anyways, that seems to have helped. I can use this door too now. Boom. Now, the occlusion was on, and when we started playing together, that door didn't do that at the beginning. Uh, when we first put it in and I first played, I, re I recall it very clearly. That door did not do the disappearing trick. So maybe something... Uh, was changed one of the updates, and that's got it acting a little wonky when the occlusion's on. So, I don't know. That just kind of occurred to me that uh, when we first started building the base, when we put these doors in, we didn't have that issue. Now, it, it, maybe it's because we've got so much more stuff uh, built around it, maybe? I don't know. Nevertheless, thank you, Cat. The occlusion, I turned it off, and it looks like it's handling it okay. I'll see if the video is affected or impacted by this at all. I hope not. Uh, it's going to be nighttime, so I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm probably just going to go down in the mine and do some digging. Uh, but uh, I did say in the episode for Tuesday, it's my longer day at work, so it's shorter time to play. But we're still going to be together for about two hours. I'm going to do the, the overnight part by myself and just kind of do some digging, like I said. And then uh, we'll get up and we'll probably head out a little early. We need to go, let's see, where are we at in the map here? How far away is that? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a jaunt over here. Ooh, it's it's quite a ways over here. That could be Trader Hugh, huh? Oh, and we've seen these houses. If I remember right, these are pretty fancy. Okay, yeah, let's go do that house right there. We'll do that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we looked at this. I think we looked at the dirt road, thinking the lakes and stuff over here, huh? So we have looked at the, yeah, see there I've got home marked. We did go by here. Okay, we're gonna do that today in the episode. So when I come back. Uh, we'll be doing that. I just, I just, uh, cat let me, left me the message about if I go into, you know, options at the beginning, the very beginning title screen, that's where I can turn off the occlusion and it seems to be working. Uh, I'm going to record the whole episode this way and we'll see what it's like. Now, does that, does that impact the field of view when I do that? Let me, let's, uh, let's go see something real quick. I know it's getting really dark really fast, but I'll, I'll try to make this quick. Is that going to impact... When I look over the grass... Yeah, see that? I don't know. Well, nope, nope, there it is. Okay. No, that's field of view. So that's good. See, I like how it gets blurry up front and gets clear in the back. I like that. That is a nice... I like how that looks. It makes me feel... Uh, makes me feel good. I like that one. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, suggestion also for the... Since I've got you here and I'm thinking about it. Uh, for the... Um, uh, drawbridge is such a difficult thing for me to seem to get out of my mouth. One of you mentioned that you use the long um, pressure plate. Is it the pressure plate or there's another name for it? But anyways, you use those and attach those up and use them in order to open and close the door. That is not a bad idea. Uh, and then basically, if I were to come here and fight... Well, I, I, won't I have the same problem, though, if I stand on it? And, well, I don't know. We'll have to try one and see. I don't think I can make them. Let's see. It's not, a, it's not called a pressure plate, though. What is that called? Oh, trigger plate. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I can make them. Oh, okay. Oh, they're not that expensive, either. The idea was we put these down and use these to open and close the door, I believe. We don't need... Can I... Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the plans here. I'm going to do this real quick. See if I can figure this out, which, you know, is a challenge for me to begin with. But um, uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get this to work out. We need uh, electrical and mechanical. All right. I'll be back. So let's take a look and see. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Just upgrade these guys. Nice XP, too. This is what I wanted these to be right here. So 
So I need forged iron in order to upgrade them to this level here. Hmm. I don't think I need to do that. I think if I paint that, that's going to sound pretty good when I walk across here. Yeah, it switches over to a metal sound. I like that. That sounds much better. Uh, sun just went down, lights just came on, it's it's not even nighttime yet. I'm just kind of putzing around the base here and, and doing a few things. Uh, just a few things that I noticed that needed to be, you know, fixed up, patched up, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's do eyedropper. And then, yeah, that'll make it look nice. I, I want the metal out here. This looks really good this way. I like it. We'll keep the rest of, of it wood, but we'll, we'll put that right there. And then I'll do the same thing over on this here sad too. And we should be good to go with this. Uh, I already got that fixed up, so we just have to do the one more row. That's nice. I love the fact that that garbage stays there. I don't know why I like that so much. I guess because it just adds a little bit of uh, apocalypse into the area, you know? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, look at this here. Got us some damage here. Probably uh, from the truck. Just bumping into that. That seems like it would be the thing. Alright, so uh, that's that's fixed up. I like the way that looks right there. And I like the way it sounds too when I come up. It's like, it's got the metal sound to it. Uh, I'm still letting a bunch of different things cook up right now. Oh, we gotta take these pumpkins down too. Time for a, uh, time for a change. Halloween's over. We need to get some of those uh, those nice snow-covered trees to bring in. That would be a good thing to do. I think we talked about that. So maybe we can run out and get some of those today, too. I think we're going to be uh, close to that area, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, how's this thing work? I'm going to go from here. In the middle, huh? And then what, from here? To the door? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh -huh -huh. That does not solve my problem of being able to just leave the door open, though. That looks weird, too. Why? It's right in the middle like that. Hmm. That doesn't really solve my problem of being able to keep the door down. I like this, though. I see what you're saying about this. I do. Let me turn that off. Turn my light on. Um, now, if I stay on it, see if I stand on it, it's not. It's still going to come up and then go right back down again, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. But I do like that idea for, and that activates with the truck, huh? I, don't, I mean, I, I don't see why it wouldn't, right? It should. doesn't work with the Jeep on it. That's interesting. So it's just for me. Okay. What is the duration I can actually go with? Oh, always. Okay, so that's that's not gonna work either. That just locks it open. Hmm, okay. What's triggered? Does that just mean it's I've activated it? Now if I back off of it. Aha! Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you not working anymore now?
So now this isn't working though. Hmm. And the Jeep doesn't activate that. That's too bad. That's interesting. You can't have multiple um, connections on the door. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's clicking on me, but it's not seeing me anymore because of this. Let's see if we can pick this guy up. Let's see what happens. Without him here. Are you no longer... Well, that broke his connection completely when I hooked up that pressure plate to it. I see. Are you still set to the right? Yes, you are. Okay, now that probably broke you as well then, I would imagine. But now you're, now you're fixed. Okay. But the pressure plate does not work with the vehicle. Hmm. Let me know if I did something wrong there. But I do like that, or a trigger plate, I guess is what I should call it, right? That's what it's called. Trigger plate, yeah. Trigger plate. Okay, but yeah, it doesn't really solve my problem. I think I'm going to be okay with it just going up and down. To be honest, we could just go up and fight him. And if we need to, then drop the drawer. The drawer. The drawbridge. Alright, I'll be back. So, last episode, yesterday, I was asking about the sale price for cigars. Looks like it's 125 bucks a cigar. And that's what the that's what the testosterone, you know, that or the steroids, right? Those are the two options I have to make. I could sell these for 125. I don't think the steroids sell for as much as that, but that's pretty cool. That's an option for the testosterone, and we can make a little money off of it. Why the heck not, right? So, um, is that a good idea or a bad idea? There, like I said, there's only two things you can make. That's what the the uh, recipe said anyway. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious about that. We could actually make them and, and just sell it. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about doing that with the beer, too. Once I get the beer recipe, I could take some of this hops and um, swap out the hops. It's still middle of the night. As you can see, it just turned night again. Things pop into my head real quick as I roam around the base. Uh, things I wanted to talk about uh, with you guys. Uh, so we've got that. And then I'm thinking over here, I've got a bunch of coffee and I have a bunch of hops right now. Not, not a ton, but I have a lot. I'm thinking about putting it in a couple more rows of corn. Potatoes are fine. It's the corn I need for not only dishes for with corn, but then you also have the corn meal foods as well. So um, I need to get more of this going, uh, of the corn. And I thought what I'd do is possibly even, um, you know, I could take the pumpkins and move them over to where uh, the hops is and then take the potatoes and move one over there, one here, and then have all four of my corn rows right over here. Yeah, I'll probably do that and uh, move these plants all over the place for a little bit. Uh, and then just get a bunch of extra corn put in because I do. What I do is I take a bunch um, and turn it into the cornmeal because it is needed for several recipes that we can make. So I have 102 made so far. This is the corn we have. Uh, I'm actually going to take that right there and turn that into cornmeal too. I want to do more of the cooking. Cornmeal. And there we go. And I've also made some AP robotic turret ammo for our guy. And a cripple mod is in the cooks as well. I'm curious if I could put that on there. Uh, it's going to be a little while because I'm making several of these. I like them. I think that's pretty cool. And I want to be able to use them uh, for something at some point in time. So I just went ahead and made, I don't know, a handful of them. So I'll have them. That's the whole idea. So anyways, again, I will be back. I've got all kinds of things being made right now. So you can put the cripple mod inside of the robotic turret. 20% chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal tar. Ooh, that's going to be, you know what? That's going to be very handy when we're fighting groups of zombies, right? I mean, that's going to be real handy. So yeah, we've got that on there now. And then I made a second one too, in case we want to use it for... Something else down the road. And I'm also making... Well, oh, oh, geez, it's still... It's 159 now. <laughs> uh, let's throw those in there. And oh, I've got a bunch of stuff on me here, too. Uh, let me get, let's get this out of here real quick. And we'll drop that in there. I'm making red tea because I was almost out. Uh, no, over here. 
And let's grab that and that. And let's go red tea. Cook another 20 more. I'm going to need a little more time than that. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. We're going to do that right there. All right. Um, is it in here? Oh, it's made the cornmeal. No. What, what, what else was I making? Here it is. Oh. Got a beverage cooler. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right here. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Uh, is that the right spot for it? I can't put it there. I can put it there, but it's right next to the fire pit. I think it'd be better off. What about right here? Right there. Boom. I'm going to put it right there. Beverage cooler. And then we're going to grab all that stuff. And we're going to throw it in our beverage cooler. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Maybe not all of this will stay in here. I don't know, but, you know, what the heck. Sun's coming up. It's morning. And here I am, still crafting away, thinking of different things I can do to keep myself busy up here while I'm waiting for stuff to cook. Boom. And I got to thinking it'd be nice to put this on my pick instead of the um, uh, bunker buster. Is that what it's called? I think that's what I had on there. Uh, this is going to be good to go. Yeah, that's good to go. Okay, I can leave that behind. I want this guy, though, for our pick. So I'm going to hold out for him. And I think, other than that, I'm pretty good to go. Oh, you know what? I also made some more AP robotic ammo. This is supposed to be better and stronger and more powerful. So, um, armor piercing. Well, I guess armored targets, but puts a bit more stress on the gun. It can penetrate one enemy or one block up to 250 hit points to also damage the enemy standing behind it. So, uh, it's also causing block damage and getting some of the damage through to the enemies, which is great. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and wait for those. I do want that, uh, that mod, though. Eight seconds. I'll keep you with me here. We'll take off and we'll fly on up there and uh, see if we can get that job done. We got a whole day to do it. A whole day to do it. All right. And modify. Pop. What I'd like to do is get the ergonomic grip. We do not have that one as of yet. We don't have that one. Ergonomic grip. Uh, again, that's going to be just fine. Uh, let's see. Do we have everything we need? Pick, axe. We got our <laughs> impact wrench. We got our shoddy, of course. I've got rounds for it. I got 300 rounds for the other rifles. We have some nice uh, turret stuff. Our uh, machete. Do I have mods on my machete? Two. The hunter mod and the tempered blade mod. You know, I could I, I can't make the diamond one. That's right. But we have diamonds. So, if we can make it, we can make it. And we did pick up that item, that little item that allows us now to find gems and stuff, uh, rare gems inside um, coffins. So, I'm wondering is does that mean when I open the coffin, I'm going to find it there or do I have to break the coffin to get uh, the magic out? That's what I'm wondering. This guy's loaded up. One of you suggested why not just put uh, like a kind of a health pack on all of them and so I've got kind of health kits in uh, right now uh, our gyro here and then I also have it in um, come on back it up back it up back it up radio uh, it takes a little while I could empty it and fill it back up and stuff like that but this is far more immersive okay now we're good we are heading for the yellow exclamation mark fly off we go and we're on our way ladies and gentlemen I will meet you there I'm going to enjoy the uh, morning flight over and then I'll come back okay we're coming up on our target here it is one of those fancy houses we saw I thought so the one I thought had the pool in the backyard didn't. It was the other one that did. <laughs> I do recall. That was the case. We're going in. Oh, we might be going in a little too fast. <laughs> Put that nose up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not drop quite so quickly. Oh, snap.
Rawr, says the zombie. Bingo, we're here. Ooh, it's the biker guy. We should check him out. I think he's armored, right? He's got the big helmet on and stuff like that. Let's see how uh, this little guy does. Oh, I might have to reload it. Oh, R. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. I, it, it, totally my fault. Totally my fault. <laughs> I forgot I got rid of the other ammo and put this inside instead. It shoots faster. I put A level, A point into this. Oh, man. Yeah. You just got riddled, buddy. You just got riddled by this dude right here. Riddled him. Just popped him like crazy. Uh, okay, so... Anything? I got bandages on me. I got some repair kits if we needed them. I don't think I will, but and to be honest with you, this guy right here, we could probably leave him behind. And if there's a safe, we'll go back in after we clear the house and get it that way. Uh, I don't need a shovel on me. Well, let's keep it. It's my tool, man. You gotta keep the tools on you. Let's go ahead and drink a little something. And eat a little something. And let's drop that back in there. You know what? Let's take one of these guys too. What the heck? Ah, good old vitamin. Makes you feel good. All right, now let's go kill some zombies. And uh, what is this? This is a clear the area. All right, clear the area. Got to clear all the zombies out until it says we're done. This looks like our entrance right here, huh? All right, let's go. I see a zombie right there. So far, he's not been able to try out his uh, his moves yet. Okay, junk. Come on, turret. Turn my light on for you guys so you can see better, of course. Sorry, forgot. Pete, you know. Pete. He's a big fella. You concern yourself a little bit with it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, clear the house. Let's just do that first, and then we'll come back, and I will loot it after that. Uh, this looks shady. What do we got going on in here? Well, we got somebody coming in from the outdoors here. It's Holly. Holly, over here. You, come here, come here. I can't go too far away, Holly. I will lose my points if I lose. Hmm. So he, he, I can load a little more ammo in him. And let's get rid of this. It's concrete. Okay. I will move that table. Um, what was I saying? He's just, um, he's faster. And he holds a little more ammo, too, which is nice. Oh, I kicked the can. Let's help him out. Oh, there's nobody in there. Can you take care of this white? Oh, he did. Look at that. Nailed it. Oh, man. Nice work. Turret. You're dead. You're dead. What's, what's going on out here? Sounds like we might have maybe a big interloper outside, huh? Hush now. You're distracting me. I don't like the fact he came in through the back door now. This door's open. Jerk. What do we got up here? <laughs> okay, it's quite a place for a hot tub, huh? <laughs> it's just... Okay, all right. All right, all right. No judgment. Close that door. Open this door here. Grab that paper. 
Look around. Okay, nothing. Okay, moving on. I'm just expecting something to come out of the ceiling at me. Oh, this is a good place for a junk turret if you ask me. Uh huh, I see a guy right over there. That's right, get him, junk turret! Oh, ripped him apart! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, that's nice. I like that. That was, that was very enjoyable. Reload. There you are, junk turret. You did a fine job there, taking out Farmer John. <laughs> Check out old Farmer John. Oh, I see stairs over there. Oh, wait. Yeah, stairs. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, uh, we're going to come back, right? Or should I, let's, let's do a box. Come on, let's do a box. It's like Christmas Eve. Come on, let's do, can I do one? Can I just open one? <sighs> Look at that. We can sell those guys. All right. Let's go upstairs. You got to loot a little bit, right? Am I crouched? No. Okay. I feel so heavy. I get doorknobs too now. Uh, with my axe. With my ox! <sighs> oh, that's a cop. <laughs> Fairly, yeah. You're dead, copper. We don't mess around with you guys. If we know it's you, we kill you. <laughs> right away. As fast as we can. Yeah, we'll get him hiding in the closet here. Mm-hmm. I was going to put the junk to a time. I thought, you nuts, get your shotgun out and blow that thing away. That's right. That's right. Kill it. Kill it quick. There's his dead body still, too. Look at that. We get to come and see it again. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, here we go. Who is it? You're not dead yet, are you? <laughs> I knew you weren't. He touched me. Not cool. Not cool. That shotgun does so much damage. It's unbelievable. You got anything in there, Junk? Huh? Oh, oh. We got a closet over here. Sorry, Junk, you're in the wrong spot, buddy. Let's put you right over here. Nothing. Nothing in the whole room. Nope. Nobody there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's cool, that's cool. Where, where are we going next? Out the window. Out the window. All right. Whew. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're going into the kitchen. Hey, one more, buddy! There you go, that's it. Feel it. That's, that's, that's our new shotgun. It's just a level two, but it works pretty dang nicely. Oh yeah, there you go. Have some fun, Junk Turret. You kill that guy, I'll check over here. Nothing. Businessman down. Okay. Oh. I do love being just an apocalyptic survivor. I, I should mention that again. That's why we have no Blood Moon. Uh, I'm playing the game in a way that the fun pimps allow it to be played, and that is just uh, the way I am. Any way I want to. I'm an apocalyptic survivor, and uh, I'm surviving. That's what I'm doing. It's plain and simple. Nobody has to give me any instruction. Oh, we got a radiated dude right here. What we got in here? Nothing in there. Ha <laughs> ha Billy, take it. He's got a rad remover on him, too. Yeah, take it, Billy. Oh, you got up, Junkie. Don't let him get up, buddy. Oh, sir, don't let him get up. All right. Oh, oh, there's a guy right here. Pete! Take it, Pete! <sighs> he touched me. There we go. Band-Aid, please. 
Right on. Looks good. Looks good. Right. I don't even know if we're clear there, but we're going to put you right here. Oh, that's going to be a good spot for you right there. you got a couple of closets to mess with and everything. All right, we just got ourselves a little closet, a little toilet there. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was fun. Oh, he's getting up, jump turret. And he's feral. Good night, Pete. Oh, Jeez, you were a tough one. Did you see that? Pete was tough. Put up a little bit of a fight. I've noticed it uh, takes a few more hits on him lately. Let's close that door. So these guys were just kind of hanging out in some closets, huh? All right. They talked about having um, kind of a, like a sleeper roaming zombie. But you, it's they're, they're not necessarily going to be asleep somewhere. They're going to be walking around the house. I don't know if they're going to be dead silent or what, but, um, you know, I just don't know. Okay. Makes sense why that wasn't open. All right. Looks like we're going up into the attic. Of course we are. Oh, I should have cut that dang tree down. Oh, reload. Yeah, of course. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, for Pete's sake, really? Get him. Oh, cop! He's running. Oh, he fell. Nice. Drop in, you guys. That's it. Take it. I got your numbers, buddy. Okay. All right, they're fighting to get in. <laughs> right on. Get ready. Get another one. Yeah, there we go. Dissect the brain. Oh, man, that was a nice little fight. I enjoyed that. <sighs> you know, there won't be too many of those. I won't be able to take it. I'll be dead. Turn to the traitor. We have defeated the house. Awesome. I'm quite pleased. Let's uh, let's look at the main loot. Oh, now I got to loot the whole place. Ooh, some toys. There's some more diamonds. Wow, four diamonds. Awesome. That is cool, huh? We got to find that diamond blade mod. That's what we need next. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that. We did a little bit of uh, shotgun action. We used the assault rifle. Um, well, you know what? Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh. I guess I already drank one, huh? Ah, let's do it. Let's treat ourselves. We finished the house. We did it. It's only 7.33 in the morning, and we've got a bunch of neat stuff that we're picking up. Oh man, that was that was really fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I want to go do um, another one very soon as well. Uh, I'm not going to knock all this stuff down. I'm just not going to do that, probably. Was there anything else up here that I did not notice that I should notice? Because there are boxes standing everywhere, which of course, that's where the zombies like to stand. But, hmm... I don't appear to be missing anything other than maybe that mix there. That's not a fake one. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go uh, back down and go through the house. And let us I'll, I'll show you any of the other highlights that we have. i got to put some of this on the gyro because we filled up so much. Uh, this is really great. Uh, I want to drop that. I've got plenty of glass. I took a stack of sand and put it in there and melted it down. I've got I've got I got glass for days, people. I've got glass for days. Uh yeah, but I would like to grab up the old pieces and parts, man. I'll be back.
Mm, cowboy hat's worth a little bit. I'm going to keep the cowboy hat. I'm going to have to go out to the... Uh, I've got to get to the chopper <laughs> and get the stuff put away. At least some of it, anyways. I mean, where's the, where is the quickest direction there? It looks like it's going to be through... Um, maybe this way? Yeah, here we go. Just do a little something right here, and then I... Yeah, I get out to the gyro right there. That's perfect. Okay, right over by where we... Uh, Look at that, we're coming out where we sort of started, basically. Let's do this. We'll just build ourselves a little staircase to heaven here. There we go, beautiful. All right, I'll be back. Let's go dump off some of our loot. We can actually leave the property now and not be penalized for it, so that's fantastic. Okay, we've picked up some nice loot so far. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, I like the fact the cops are showing up. We had a radiated, what, one or two radiated zombies. So, um, uh, I'm, what am I? Let's see. Let's take a look. I've, we've not done this for a while. I meant to do this a couple episodes back too. We're at level 67, game stage 152, a little over 1,600 kills. Um, I don't know where that is. I have no idea. I have no idea what the, any of that means. It's just, uh, like I said. Just to survive. That's all there is to it. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm back to searching. And uh, we've got room for loot, people. we got room for loot. Yes, we do. Yes, we do indeed. We've got a new book. Uh, one of the bar brawlers. 20% extra damage to knock down and stunned opponents. So we've got a book learned. And we've got a book there to sell, too. I've uh, made it into a different part of the house. We've got those guys right there, it looks like. And we've got some paper. Uh, okay. Uh, good enough. I'll be back. Ooh, there's a level 5 football helmet. That guy's worth some cash. That's nice. I'll take that. Uh, got a bookshelf over here? We do. Okay, that's a needle and thread. We got that one. Ah, lucky looter. Very nice. All right. Uh, lucky looter. What do we got here? Dukes. If you know where to look, you could find money just laying around. Find more dukes in loot. Huh. Bam. Got it. More dukes in loot. Nothing wrong with that, right? Could want more dukes in their loot. Well, there's two more beers to add to the cooler. We'll be dropping that. Oh, yeah. A little bit more ammo. That's nice. Take that free ammo. That's sweet. Still making my way kind of around the house here, just uh, picking up what I want to pick up. Check it out. Look at this. Well, tons of coffee stuff there, but oh, look at that. Right here in the middle of the job. Yeah. Ah, nice little shot of coffee. Feels good, you know. I'm working down. I don't even know where I'm at. I just kind of punched a hole in the wall and came back into the house. But uh, uh, I'm down below, downstairs, in kind of a, I don't know, just a kitchen area, actually. Kitchenette. We had whites show up in today's episode as well. Two of them. I don't think we've had that before. Gotcha. I saw you back there hiding. You see him hiding back there? Yeah. Like we couldn't see him, huh? Sneaky. Sneaky little bugger. My inventory is filling up for the third time, I'm happy to say. Uh, we have got some nice loot. We're re replacing some of those pieces, parts we've used for some of the stuff we've built, which is always a very good time. I do love... Uh, oh, oh. Um, I'm going to actually drop the lead, grab that can of peas, and I'm going to go back out again and uh, drop off a bunch of loot. It's just nuts. So much of it. It's great. Okay. I feel, you know, I didn't get everything, but I got a lot of everything. So, you know. I'm happy with that. That was a uh, that was a uh, was a good trip. It was uh, worth coming out for for sure. We got some loot back uh, to replace the stuff we've used, which is great. This is what I've got left. This is the pieces parts I picked up. Uh, hadn't really realized it in the past, but you don't seem to get as many of these mechanical parts as you do the uh, 
uh, electrical parts. Not that that's a big deal. It just means I can go wrench some more because I just love doing it. I picked up some doorknobs in there, though. <laughs> I know. It sounds weird, right? Hey, well, you doorbell. Uh, I think even if I wanted to, I could probably get this guy right here. Is this, does this door count? Let's see. Yeah, there's a doorknob right there. Brass. So that's kind of cool. I did notice that. I actually went back through the house and found some other doors that I had missed. And there's, of course, stuff all over the place that I missed. These guys here are worth thick some iron, right? Uh, I don't know. What about this way? No. Uh -uh. I know the orange ones that are attached in there, the water pipe looking ones, those guys uh, are worth some brass. But that's pretty cool. We got some good stuff. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, note to self, though. Circle the house once and cut down the trees. Oh, one other thing. I wanted a few of these plants just to put in the uh, our base, just to have a little more, uh, you know, green showing. So I, that was, I don't know, that's just another one I saw. I'll grab that. I'm going to put that on the gyro. We've got to head to the trader. Let's go talk to whoever it is we're going to go talk to. And on you go. Beautiful. Now, before we go in, let's decide what we're going to sell and keep and, and all that good stuff. So I'll come back after I do a little bit of a little bit of sorting. I think uh, I'm pretty well certain that the schematics we are selling. So let's take those out of here first, and then we'll decide what's after that. That's going. Oh, all right on. Sweet. Where'd it go? Hey. Oh, there it is. Whew. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. I think uh, I, th I think I have everything off of here that I don't want to sell. I'm going to keep these light armor pieces just because they're uh, level sixes. They're padded, but I don't know, I've been thinking about just swapping out armor every now and again, just going out and seeing how, how things go. <laughs> I don't think I have any dukes on me. Ooh. Uh, oh, also, Night Stalker. This is one we found. Archery, no one will see it co coming. Bows do... Oh, 10 more points of damage at night. Oh, okay. So, I see. Okay. So, we're not using the bow, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I don't have any dukes on here, do I? No, I do not. I don't have any sugar butts on here either. So, would these vending machine have sugar butts in there? Uh, no. All right. Well, that's okay. We're, we've got room in our inventory. Let's just go up and we'll just, uh, you know, we'll just wheel and deal the old fashioned way. Hopefully he gives us a good deal. How are you? Well, let me tell you something, Joel. I'm good. I'm very good. We just had a great loot You've run. You've made my day. Oh. And here is your payment. Flaming arrow ammo. I don't want to do that. Uh, 620. That sells for that. Ooh, really? Uh, let's let's take that. Uh, all right, Bob. I say that. Oh, level up. W. One thousand. What? He's not interested. Why the heck not? There we go. Oh, there we go. And then, oh, I forgot to repair that. Ah, hold on. Peace be with you. Hold man. on, Joel. Just, yeah, sorry, man. I forgot something. It's that yellow color. I just don't see it. And that. What do we come out of this with? Six thousand five hundred and seventy-five. Probably could have done better, but you sure you don't want this hat? All right. I'm telling you, man. It's clean. Let's see what we got in here. <laughs> I sure do like the mining helmet. I think it's cool. I might get one just so when I'm in the mine I wear it. Oh, here's Urban Combat. Let's buy that from him. And that's all I... Oh, there's a grenade one. But I think we can... Let's find those. Some of the stuff I want to find too. The books I'm just kind of going through. 
Uh, all about those books. Okay. What's he got here? Ooh, he's got a water cooler. I'm buying it. Huh, it's mine now. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, Joel. Oh, you know what? We should probably... Well, we'll have to see what, uh, which one job, which job is Jen's. Well, we've got two other jobs that we took. I don't have to take another job right now from him. I don't, I don't have to do that. I don't. I'm not playing it this way. That way. Uh, but we do need to take care of there's we did take a job for Jen and we took another one for um uh, was it it was Hugh. I think it was Hugh. We have no room in our gyro for anything else. Uh, our inventory is I think about half full. I wouldn't mind stopping and doing one of these guys right here. Those look like fun. You gotta remember, I've only done these maybe a couple times. So they're all really, really fun, I think. Some of them have snakes in them, if I remember right. Probably scare the crap out of some of you guys. Oh, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I'll be back. Home sweet home. Indeed. All right. We did want the hat. So weird. So weird. I know exactly where I'm putting this. Exactly where I'm putting this. Ah, I love having the big doors just open all the time. It's really nice. I like it. Uh, yes, I want you right here. Just like that. Oh, yeah. There we go. You can make this guy. We got some beer to throw in here, too. Oh, there's urban combat. I forgot to read it. Uh, jumping. Learning how to jump and land quietly is an urban combat basic. Learn it and stay alive. When sneaking, you always land silently unless you are taking damage and jump height is not reduced. Ooh, really? Ooh, maybe we should try to be sneaky once and go in real sneaky-like and see if we can go through without waking up a single zombie. That'd be tough. It'd be tough to go in without that, but we got the silencer, so we might be able to do something like that. It'd be kind of fun. Could be kind of cool. Um, okay, so I got like a ton of stuff to put away. Uh, it's probably gonna have to wrap up today's episode because it's gonna take me forever to put all this loot away. This is nice stuff. Four diamonds. That's pretty sweet. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, look at it all. Look at this loot coming in. That's good stuff. That's a lot of good stuff. Pieces, parts. Cans, jars, water, food. Just the whole nine yards, man. We got a little bit of everything when we went out this time around. That's fun. That's a really good time. Yeah. Uh, here, take that. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. That's worth 250 bucks, man. Yep, yep, yep. The beer. The beer. All right, I'm putting stuff away. Uh, so like I said, that's going to have to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it very, very much. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. Oh, so much fun stuff.